I just did it. I just coded my first software with ChatGPT. And here are the steps and the prompt that I've used to make it. Hi, I'm Amory, founder and CEO at My City of Rain, where founders come to learn how to build their tech startup. And with this Startup Snack series available on both podcasts and YouTube, we want to share the essential to make it easier for you to build your tech startup. And to tell you the truth, when I woke up this morning, I was not really thinking about creating a software with ChatGPT. Recently, I've used it to plug API on it and just to perform automations uh, thanks to ChatGPT and to automate things. But he suggested me to code something, code a specific function instead of asking him all the time. So I did it and here are the prompts that I've used. So the very first things I did was to ask him to, uh, to, uh, to act as a chat GPT expert. So basically what I wrote was uh, as act as a chat GPT expert and can you suggest me an optimi optimizer, sorry, uh, chat GPT prompt to ask to reduce the length of line of a subtitle file. So basically, the function that I was aiming to have is to take uh, the subtitle file generated automatically with uh, the um, Whisper uh, function of OpenAI and to reduce each line and to calculate the, the timing. And basically, ChatGPT was able to do it and I managed to uh, have the answers, but the answers took like 30 to 40 seconds for just like a two minute script, which was almost instant uh, instantly done with the code. So the strategy was to ask ChatGPT first the best prompt to do something so that he can put him in my shoes, asking him and knowing exactly what are the type of information he needs to generate something. So the result he gave me was, okay, given a subtitle SRT file, create an algorithm to split sublines that are longer than 12 words, blah, 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 uh, while ensuring the following conditions are met. Video timing is preserved, lines are split only at the end of sentence or on commas, and the timing of the uh, split sections should be proportional to the number of characters in each line. So basically, he helped me write down specific conditions and it looks like he liked having bullet points for uh, the software uh, specifications. And at the end, he wrote, Please provide a step-by-step -step process along with a necessary code or pseudocode to accomplish that task. That's what he did. He gave me, uh, actually, that just copy the, uh, the, the prompt he suggested me. I dropped it and that's what he gave me. He gave me a specific piece of code with some pseudocode. So the pseudocode are just the title of functions and what they are supposed to do. And once he provided me, I was okay with that and I just asked him, okay, Instead of, uh, uh, no, I, I was just asking me, can you code the Python program that you su just suggested above? And that was it. He provided me the code. From that code, I then um, asked him several options, like can you improve that code to uh, provide the input and output file name as a common parameter? Then I asked him to add some more parameters on the software, and that was it. It was working and it just li works like a charm. So if we want to summarize the steps and the prompt that we should use, if we want to ask ChatGPT to code, don't ask right away to code your thing because it might be expressed in your own way and not in the ChatGPT way. So instead, ask him what is the best prompt to do and boom, you write down what you want to achieve. Then once you have exactly the formula of what you want to achieve, then you can ask him directly that prompt, you, you copy and paste the prompt he suggested, and he, you should ask for the code or the pseudo code, then ask him then after, in a following prompt, the entire code for what he just suggested. And then you have it, and after you can just do few requests to improve uh, the code, improve the parameters, the functions, and you will have your piece of software. So it worked like a charm for me. I hope this content will be helpful for you. Let us know on YouTube and on the comment section or, in, or Instagram. And of course, if you enjoy learning with us and spending a bit of time with me, just hit the subscribe button or the like button and spread the word to hit and uh, to yeah, just share that with your entrepreneur friends. And if you have any question or want to suggest a topic, feel free to drop us a comment or a message on Instagram. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Bye.